Hi, my name is David Zilt. I just got done doing my first session of a breakaway called Miracles, the Mind and Meaning. And it was about the topic of miracles and kind of this question of when you read the Bible, it sounds like fairy tales because like people walk on water, what Jesus does and stuff like that. And you're kind of like, as an educated modern person, can I believe that? So I, I talk a bit about that and I focus on some of the research I did in my own journey with doubt and skepticism about um, modern miracles and some scholarship, not like tabloid stuff, but scholarship on modern miracles and how, although we don't need modern miracles to verify that the scriptures are reliable, I think they do kind of make it a little easier to not be as critical of the gospels. It makes us less skeptical. And so it can kind of remove obstacles. And so I talk about miracles, modern miracles as, as taking care of our needs of our mind and our needs to know, hey, this is real. But I also talk about how it meets the needs of our heart and that our needs to know that God cares. When we hurt, he hurts. When we struggle, he is working and doing things that we may not even see for years. Um, and so I really want to take a holistic view of God cares about our mind and our need for answers and our struggles with skepticism and he struggles with our heart and the suffering and all that too. And I use miracles as a case study to show, hey, God gives us evidence, not just modern miracles, but all the historical evidence for Jesus we've been talking about. But he also takes care of our needs. Um, he showed that he cares about us ultimately in the cross and the ultimate miracle, the empty tomb. And that's the down payment that we know he's going to make all things right. Um, but modern miracles are cool. They, they catch your attention. They tell you that, hey, maybe I can't put God in a box and maybe he could do things that I wouldn't expect him to do. And that's kind of exciting. It's kind of scary, but it's exciting because it means God's big enough to handle my stuff. So just just uh, hope, hope people were encouraged by it. Um, come out and we'll be doing this again tomorrow.